Okay. <laughs> That's it. That is it. I have to. I have to show you, man, because this, this is not normal. <laughs> this is normal. I'll die before I'm normal. And uh, you gotta, you gotta watch who you take advice from. Okay. And this is. I'm not doing this to impress. Just to impress upon you what can happen to you when you stop listening to normal nine to five month to month paycheck to paycheck people like friends and family and all that stuff and don't, don't take like don't look at this i don't I, just, I won't have to warn everybody don't look at the stuff that i say emotionally but just logically okay logically look at it like if you were trying to be a good snowboarder do you want to listen to somebody that's, that sucks at snowboarding you know if, if you want to be a, a doctor go to a doctor for advice right if you want to be a plumber go to a plumber for advice but if you want to be like free financially and have time freedom and a lifestyle that is insane where you don't even know what day it is and I, I do this every freaking day in fact nobody's even allowed to call me until 12 30 after i'm done surfing and if it's good not at not at four o'clock either when it's good at, in, in the evening and then, you know, I, yeah, I, I do work from home and all that stuff, but like insane, okay? And not, I'm saying, I'm not not to brag, this is not being cocky, it's it's confidence, okay? Not cockiness. Look, you got a lot of bad information out there. You, you got idiot, like stupid journalists that these, these people are employees, okay? They work for these big corporations. They don't know anything about business, right? So never take business advice from them because they don't know anything about it except for where they sit inside of one in this little desk right and um you know like people like don lemon and, and crap like it, the only reason he has his job is because he has his that ridiculous opinion and if it, if he didn't have that opinion they'd hire somebody else and put another anybody else to say the same stuff but they're only going to hire people with that stupid opinion right and he's an he's He's a worker bee that doesn't have the results. So look, they say in every wealth book, look for the people who have the results that you want, the life that you want, and ask them. Don't ask your broke f paycheck to paycheck working friends and family, man. All right? So anyway, my, my mom used to call me Mr. Contrary because I would just fight everything. Like, you know, if someone said something, if I thought it was like, if I think it's wrong, it's wrong. Like, that's it. I'm not, I'm not. And so, <laughs> a lot of people, like, that's how I live, okay? I'll die, literally die before I'm normal. All the normal people working right now, it's a Tuesday in the middle of the day. Like, no, no way. But in order to get that, you got to do unordinary stuff and find better ideas, right? I was ferocious about, like, look, I've, I've had all the job, like, I've had crappy jobs where I worked 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. for years, you know, um, and working overtime, and every time you get that paycheck, how does this feel? Drop comments, like whatever the, this video is. I don't know, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Drop comments if, if like you, you've worked overtime, and you think you're going to get this big old check. I used to do that all the time because I'm a hard worker. And every time you get the check, you're all excited, and then you get it, and you're like, what the, what the hell happened to the money? Right? All the taxes are taken out. Did you know, like, if you don't know the rules to the game, you're going to get burned. There's systems out there waiting for you not to know this stuff, not to be educated, not to be aware, and not to know the game, right? So you're, most people get burned by taxes, and you can never, ever, ever create wealth without getting your taxes down to a legal minimum. I'm not talking about tax of, of evade, evasion. I'm talking about tax avoidance, legal tax avoidance. All these stupid journalists that talked about Trump not paying his taxes. Is he in jail? Is he is he fined? Is he f nothing? Because it's all BS to try to get your eyeballs. The whole the way that they make money is they need eyeballs, right? And the only way to keep the eyeballs on that channel is to cause drama and and sensationalize and, and try to get people to watch because that way they the more money the more people watch the more eyeballs the more money they are able to make from the ads so trump was their best their their only chance like their best chance of getting eyeballs to make money but the, do you like think about this do you do you think that so they were talking about those taxes that you know you, you didn't pay that's I'll, I'm gonna break this down on a whiteboard 
and I'll show you how that works because you can you know you can take a loss like four years say you took a loss four years back well you can spread that loss out over the next four or five years on against the gains that you've made right so this is all legal stuff that most people don't know employees don't know uh, most business donor owners don't even know we know kind of the next level strategies because I, I was getting capital gains taxed of, and all kinds of stuff and I had to figure all this out from you know the one percenters mentors and and go down into this financial wormhole and stuff and go, go invest the time you got to invest the time into yourself to figure this stuff out not watch TV not watch Netflix it's like the, the difference between rich and poor is what you do in your spare time right so that's why I'm creating the, the I'm gonna start talking about these pages and um, you know like they call me mr. contrary yeah because I'm going against all like you're getting bad advice out there don't watch out for who you take advice from like let me give you an example yeah, have you if you've ever been on the rocks like drop a comment if, if have you ever been on the rocks with your lady like your your wife your spouse right your girlfriend and and you you go or say say or your boyfriend right like if you're a, a woman you have a, you go and tell your other girlfriend you, you kind of just you're venting to her right and you're like oh man but you know you're kind of on the rocks and you always have this one freaking friend right that's giving you advice and she's like oh, forget him you should dump him you don't need him there's more fish in the sea you deserve better he's an asshole right and you're just like there's just negative and lame about it but they're but here's their situation they're 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 single and they've been divorced three times should you take advice from that person would that be wise right so people do this in business and you know and and money they take bad advice from people that are not in there they don't have proven results they don't have the results you're looking for so you shouldn't take advice from them right so this is why I'm gonna do this. this these pages I'm gonna start putting out videos and doing all this because it's just a bunch of goober crap out there man and it's not even it's not even it's not I mean it's okay if you want the normal life but I don't and if that's not your plan Stay tuned. Let me know if that makes sense. Uh, drop it in the comments and, and any topics you'd like to speak on. Because I've done it all, man. I've had jobs. You know, I've had businesses went through that. If you have a normal, traditional, small business, that's that's a problem. You know, I've, I've been there where it's like the, the more successful you get, the more busy you get, right? The more employees, overhead, mortgage, insurance, paperwork, just management, just craziness. And you don't get to live the life, right? So I had to start looking for solutions. So I've done that too. Then I got in, you know, investing and other things like that where it's like, okay, now the next level of problems, like, because there's levels to this shit. There's levels. So the you have new sets of problems, which is like overpaying in taxes and getting, you know, capital gains tax. And so you start going down that wormhole and you find out all the stuff that the one percenters know, right? And so you want to know what they know and do what they do so you can get the same results. So it doesn't take very long. I mean, I, I worked on it for a decade. Hey, 10 years, right? But, pff, you know, it's not get rich quick. You got to invest time into yourself and work on smarter businesses that are automated, that, that can duplicate, that are leveraged, that are online 24 hours so you can, be, you can get paid 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, make money while you sleep and all that crap, right? And have super leverage and automation. Things like that, but and it, and it sounds it sounds harder than it is. It just takes time. You gotta you gotta invest the time in yourself. And I just tell everyone, look, it's you know, ten years is better than thirty to to work hard, you know, and, and retire. Like most people retire, if you look at the statistics, it's a ninety five percent chance that they'll be either dead or dead broke at 65 if you do anything normal the normal jobs and normal small businesses so if you don't want those stats you don't want you don't want to be in that situation you got to look for better ideas right so anyway hope that makes sense <laughs> look for the videos and we'll see you on the beach man talk soon